Hey everyone and welcome back to your girl's channel. It's your girl Misha. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my simple easy blowout routine using only two products. Please continue watching. So I'm starting off with the Voice of Hair Hair Exceller. I actually really like this when it comes to blowing up my hair or just using it in general to massage my scalp. And then I'm taking Care of Care Thermal Wonder and I'm taking my Red Kiss Blow Dryer. I sprayed Care Care Thermal Wonder on my hair first because I'm just thinking the oil should be something to seal in the product, not apply the oil first and then the liquidy form later. So the oil is going to seal in the actual Thermal Wonder. Next, I'm just massaging that into my hair, getting it nice and bright. You get me marinating her. And then after that, I'm just going to section her off. And then I'm going to go in with my oil, applying it in sections, really getting in between the crevices of my hair, like I always, always tell you guys. Now when my hair is in this afro texture state, I like to go in with my comb just to get a feel of how many tangles I, I may have throughout the process of blowing it out. Then I'll go in with my detangling brush and go over it and you see how smooth my hair is coming out? You know I'm gonna have a good blowout. If your hair is doing this, you're on the right track. If your hair ain't doing that, either you might need a trim or you did something wrong on your wash routine keeping it real but your hair should be easy to detangle like there should be no types of problems that you're encountering if you are we need to talk about it so um, I'm just gonna let y'all watch me apply the products to my hair more so the oil because I already did the thermal wonder uh, heat protectant but I'm gonna let you guys just watch it until I reach to the blow blowing out process and then if I do need to like suggest something that will maybe help you in your blowout process I will Okay, so I'm back so since my hair is still pretty damp it's not like drenching wet but it is pretty damp what I like to do is I like to kind of like just you know put a little heat on my roots first just to kind of like dry up some of that water and then I go in with the ends my hair is definitely going to be super easy to blow out I, pro I probably I think like blew out my hair in like 10 15, I want to say 15 minutes honestly I don't it did not take me that long to blow out my hair once you have the technique down, honestly, like wash days, styling, uh, freaking doing a hairstyle, anything that you are doing with your hair will be easier. Like all you gotta do is get those tangles out though. But just make sure I really like this blow dryer because I can twist it, turn it. I don't really like the ones that look like a gun. I don't really like those because they hurt my, my hand a lot and my hand cramps up a lot using those. So. I don't like those, but I really do like this one. I highly, highly recommend it. I will leave it, all the products that I use down in the description box below, just in case you guys want to pick it up on your way shopping to Walmart, on Amazon, wherever, girl, whatever. You
So I am completely done blowing out my hair. It feels really good, feels really light, and she feels ready to be styled. I will be showing you guys how I style my hair. It is already on my channel. It is the stitch braid video on my natural hair. I wanted to do something different and add a little bit of funk to it, which is what I did. And if you guys are kind of like bored of whatever styles you're using, try some stitch braids. It'll change your life, for real, for real. Anyways, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.